Hello, this is BSJ, and this video is going to be a brief, in-depth look at Morph and Replicate. The first thing I'm going to talk about is going in-depth on Morph, the ability Morph. So the important aspect of Morph is the fact that Morph Ling, as a hero, is balancing how much strength and how much agility you need in any given game. And the important question you have to ask yourself is, what's more important, the efficiency for farming, the survivability, how much do I really need? Heroes that can stop you from morphing are heroes with silences. You can si you can morph through all disables, so silences, but hexes do count as silences as well, so heroes like Lion and Shadow Shaman, hexes do keep you from morphing. As well as Ancient Apparition Ultimate does not allow you to morph either. And the important thing to note on Morphling is that if the more heroes or the quicker potential that they have of keeping you from morphing at all, that usually implies the more base health you'll need to be sitting on. I mean, pretty straightforward concept, but the thing is, like, certain heroes, even though they have silences, can't necessarily burst you down. So maybe something like a Death Prophet with no burst damage on her team couldn't really burst you down, so you could probably afford to have more morph and agility than strength in that case. This is really important to acknowledge that if they do have silences or can stop you from morphing, how quickly can they kill you? How long do their silences last? Will you ever be able to get morph off? And just keep in mind that if you do use morph and then you get silenced, you will continue to morph whatever you are morphing and won't be able to stop it. There are times where you'll get you'll start morphing strength in order to be because you're scared that you're going to die at the start of a fight. You'll get silenced and then you'll be forced to pretty much morph full strength I and mean, you'll be pretty useless for the rest of the fight. So it's another thing to keep in mind as well that you don't morph too scared like you don't start strength morphing when you're not going to die either and those are things that like if they go on you and you get your morph off and then you realize they couldn't have killed you it's something to keep in mind for next time to make sure you don't use it because obviously you're pretty useless if you hit for no damage and so the biggest thing about morph as an ability though is that you're obviously farming much more efficiently every little bit of agility that you have so you really want to be able to push your limits on this ability just like every every other aspect of the hero that's what makes him such a great carry to maximize efficiency and the more agility you have the faster you right click the fa more damage you do the more kill potential you have especially once you get eth blade synergizes better with your adaptive strike so it's something where for yourself it's really important to gauge how much burst damage they have how quickly they do damage in general in terms of like will you actually be able to strength morph will it actually be able to help you what's the most important thing do you have mana to strength morph will you have mana to strength morph and replicate out etc etc balancing a little bit of everything on the hero survivability in terms and farm speed and fighting potential and morph the ability morph itself is just incredibly complicated in that regard and though even though it's a relatively straightforward ability it's something where if you do if you morph too much agility you die too easily if you morph too much strength then you'll farm less efficiently as well as do significantly less damage than you potentially could do i don't see people fully utilizing replicate to its full potential is that you have to keep in mind i mentioned this earlier in one of my videos is that your illusion gets everything that other illusions get so like making an illusion of pl would have the chance to duplicate itself Making an illusion of a hero with a radiance would get radiance. Making an illusion of a Wraith King gives everyone lifesteal. Making an illusion of Venge gives you all 38% damage. Which on a hero with high base damage, when Morphling will usually have about 300, something like a Venge illusion gives you 100 damage. <laughs> which is nothing to scoff at. It's really important to utilize Replicate. Like, look at, the in look at the heroes in the game. Sometimes you'll just need to use Replicate to make a copy of a hero on your own team or the other team in order to send it to wherever you think there's going to be a fight. And that's just like utilizing the mobility of the ability. And that's like important to acknowledge that that's the most important thing at the time. To make sure that you perfect that is really important as well. Like if you just have to use it to get around the map, then do that. You know, don't try to like always get the perfect replicate target every single game. Or in every single scenario in every single game. It's really important every game to try to acknowledge what heroes on your team, what heroes on the other team. Heroes that are best replicate targets are ones with great passives. Like I already talked about some of the best examples. And then heroes that naturally build into aura items. You get all the auras, you get drums, you get vlads, you get a soul cuirass, you get shivas. All those things go on to your replicate. Your replicate only hits for half damage, but there are other heroes that do significant physical damage. Heroes like Terrorblade, heroes like Juggernaut, if you make replicates of them. And heroes like Anti-Mage, they'll mana burn the Anti-Mage. You can, like, I love playing Morphling against Anti-Mage because you make a Morphling replicate of the Anti-Mage and run it at the supports and fights, and it's it does half damage, but it's as tanky as the original Anti-Mage, and it burns their mana, so they're forced to run away from it. It's really important to, like, think about what heroes are great copies for you to make. I already mentioned Axe. It gets Spin. Centaur Illusions get Return. Just think of what most effective hero you can make in that game. 
And that makes Morphling a really strong counter to a lot of heroes just because his replicate of them is really strong. So that's a really important aspect of replicate. And while I talked about how to utilize it for split pushing properly, I really wanted to go into detail on making sure you utilize it in that manner as effectively as possible. Hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks on how to properly use Morph and Replicate. I hope they can help you do some cheesy stuff in your pub games.